Hi, Dr. Jen Andrade, the Active Persons Chiropractor, and today I wanted to talk about proper sitting posture. I thought it was appropriate as we go back to school here soon, and it's important because we our kids actually spend several hours a day um, sitting, and we just went from being on summer break where we're probably not sitting as much, we're up and we're active and we're doing things, and now we're going to be going to being a little bit more sedentary during the school year. So just some reminders and things to pay attention to and to talk to your kids about and also just to monitor when you do see them. So obviously you're not in class with them, but you can see the habits that they have when they're at home. So a couple things to look at. Obviously we don't have a whole lot of control about the, the chair at school, um, but we can try to uh, make the best of that situation. So number one, one of the biggest things I see with a lot of people, especially with kids, is they are sitting at the edge of the chair, at the front of the chair here versus sitting back if they're able to and actually letting the chair support them. Um, they're probably not going to have a high back chair like this, but they will have a chair that can actually support their back. So we really should kind of have our butt and our back all the way in back into the chair um, and sitting back in that to support so that our head's not coming forward. We're not putting any undue stress onto the lower back. The other piece to pay attention to is um, where our feet are and where our legs are. So a lot of times I will see people that are sitting cross-legged or they're sitting kind of off kilter, off to one side leaning. So we wanna be sitting kind of on those sits bones and we want our feet flat on the ground if possible. Um, and so that we're not putting any kind of stress onto the pelvis and hips if we're sitting cross-legged or off to one side. So that's another piece. Um, another thing to pay attention to is just kind of where your arms are at. So a lot of times I see people kind of sitting like this, sitting forward, shoulders rolling forward. We wanna have those shoulders back and down. But if we do have armrests, we wanna use those as long as they're not bringing our shoulders up. So if we have an adjustable armrest, that's great. If we don't, we wanna just kind of sit back and kind of let those arms relax if possible. So not having our arms up towards our, our ears. So those are just a couple of pointers. You know, what that's gonna do is make your kid more comfortable. They're gonna be better able to focus. So that's one of the cool things is when we're actually hunched over, we're actually, our posture is preventing us from taking a deep breath and we're not getting as much oxygen to our brain. So if we're not getting as much oxygen to our brain, it doesn't function as well. So when we have good posture, so, shoulders back and down, chest open, and relax, we actually get more air in, better oxygenation to the brain, which means we are better able to focus and retain the information that we're taking in. So just one of the cool benefits. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for listening. Dr. Jen Andrade, the Active Persons Chiropractor.